Hello, hello, once again, joining me, good people. Uh, I'd like to welcome you all to another edition of my uh, ongoing series, Letters from a Nut. My name is Martin Imora Gewamoredi, and I'd like to ask you, please, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, like this video. Even if you haven't watched all of it, like it, uh, comment if you have something constructive to say. And uh, as always, I begin these letters talking about something personal about myself. And this week I've been doing uh, things about myself, things that I love, not about myself, but just things that I love. And today I was, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, a little bit about my love for winter. It's one of my favorite, probably my favorite season right now. I'm also not in a really bad place. I'm, I'm in Colorado. We get some, we, we are we get some pretty brutal winter sometimes. I think uh, this winter, this, yeah, I think this winter we had the most snow in, uh, in the continental U.S. And I love the good people. It, it makes me appreciate the summer much more. And I, lo and I love just, you know, the, the, the feeling of just that coldness and makes, you know, like you can wear it. You know, I don't walk around. I'm not the Iceman walking around the cold in shorts and stuff. But I wear really minimal stuff. I wear maybe like, two layers of pants, three, four layers of uh, tops, you know, shirts and stuff during winter. And I don't know, good people, for some reason that cold, the crisp air, especially after it snows and it's just blanketed, it's, uh, it's all snow blanket, blanketing everything. And you can almost smell, you can taste the air, the difference in quality. And I love that about the winter. And, uh, it makes me, yeah, it makes me appreciate the summer. So, like, it's it's rare for me. Like, today, right now, it's, yeah, temperatures have gone beyond 70. Let me see if I can turn this camera around. Let me see how it'll, if you can see. Oh, it, it won't see. It won't be very good. But anyway, I have, there's a thermometer over there, an outside thermometer or whatever it's called. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a hot day. And I don't like complaining about hot days because I remember the cold ones. And I know they're going to come back. So, I'm, I appreciate them. I'm grateful for the hot days. Um, yeah, I'm grateful for them. And so it's 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 uh, it's like the yin and the yang of people. You 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 can't have you, you you can't eat you can't eat good stuff and expect not to uh, not to shit. You know, you think you're still gonna shit. Ah, uh, yes, shit, shit is still gonna stink. Anyway, anyway, good people. Let's get to the point of the video, to the, to, to the, to the reason of the videos. Today's letter was written to, uh, to the Carl Can Food Company on July 25th by Mr. Ted L. Nancy. And uh, he addressed it to the president. And uh, this is what he wrote. Dear Carl Can Food President. I am the happy owner of a 36-year-old cat. Unbelievable. His name is Charles, and the vet can't believe it when I bring him in. But he has his records. He's been taking care of him the whole time. He just scratches his head and says this cat has got to be the oldest cat he's ever seen. He examines him all over. He was born, on June, he was born June 22, 1959. We used to watch Chuck Berry together. But now... His eyesight is bad. I tell the vet all Charles eats is Kalkan food and sometimes licorice, but he loves the Kalkan, the Kalkan cat food taste. Last week he examined me. Uh, last week he examined him and told me that he thought Kalkan makes the best cat food. He said he tells all his cat owners that if it was up to him, Kalkan would be the only thing they should serve. Him, they should serve. Then he made a strange gaggling sound. He's the best. My question, is this the oldest cat you've ever heard of? I thought about taking him around malls and displaying him if he was the oldest cat ever. I figured you would know being around cats there all day. Hey, I thanks for letting me know. God bless you, cat president. Charles is my companion for life. What other cat food do you make that he should eat? Please tell me if I should change to another Calcan brand. I need to know. Respectfully, Ted L. Nancy. 
Charles and me. That's the letter Mr. Nancy wrote to uh, to the Calcan Food Company, Calcan Cat Food Company, and he was requesting uh, some knowledge, some info. He was telling them about his cat, who was called Charles, and he says it's old. It's old, thirty-six years old. You know that that's older than a lot of people live. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot older than a lot of animal species live. And Mr. Nancy wants to know if he has got the oldest cat and if the company has any brand of uh, cat food that they would recommend for his elderly senior cat. Anyway. About a month and a half later, on September 13th, 1995, um, they wrote back to Mr. Nancy. And this is what they wrote back. This is actually what Mr. the vice president of the company wrote back. Dear Ted, I'm delighted to hear about Charles and his amazing longevity. We try to trace you by phone, but you are not listed, hence this letter. Would it be possible for us to visit you and Charles? I would love to take some photographs of him for our records. I will also try to track down data on the oldest cut recorded for you. Please call me on my direct line, 213-586-4905. I will be looking forward to hearing from you soon. In the meantime, Please find and close some coupons for Charles' continued enjoyment and health. Yours sincerely, John Malin, Vice President, Research and Development. So good people, man, excuse me. I, that's a, I feel like pollen or something. You know, just stuff getting into my, my nose when I'm breathing in and stuff. Yeah, pollen. Anyway, that's the letter Mr. Nancy got. Not only did he get a reply, he got a reply from the Vice President of Research and, the, and Development. These are the people who, are, who come up with the uh, different cut foods, the different formulations, different recipes, and all that fucking stuff. Oh, forgive my French. Anyway, he gets the letter. Not only did he get the letter, he, he, he even gets the phone number, the direct phone number to the Vice President, who even requests, he wants to come over, take pictures of his... Um, cut Charles and post it in their company, which I imagine will be a great honor for Mr. Nancy and his his uh, his cat. So, good people, as I keep on saying, you know, you never know what you're gonna get un unless you ask. And Mr. Nancy, you know, he asked he asked a few questions, and he got more he got more than he he wanted. He got the name of the vice president, got his phone number, and they wanna come over, chill with him. He got coupons. To get more cat food you people that's uh and you can see mr nancy is always grateful he always has concerns he his letters there's usually either concern or 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 a gratitude and in this one he had both he had a concern about his cat being the oldest cat and he, he he was also being grateful to the company for the cat food that they've provided that probably has made his cat live who knows 15 years longer 20 years longer than it should have so yeah, good. there you go, good people. It's always good to show gratitude. And who knows how well the, the, the vice president of research and development probably show, showed uh, his people, his employees, and they, they, they probably all received it really well. And they probably pumped up about their work. So good people, that, that, that's, that's it. That's it for today. That's it for today. Uh, I hope you all do good. I hope you all do blessed. Please stay grateful. Please stay, uh, please stay happy. Please stay smiling. Um, uh, stay healthy, good people. Work on your health, mental, physical, spiritual. You know, there's videos. There's videos on YouTube you can you can use. Uh, I'm not a guru. I just I just listen to other people and uh, try to practice what they preach. You know, and at least you know I, I keep what works for me, and then you know some stuff doesn't work for me. So uh, just like I said earlier, you know, like uh, oh, this was a video yesterday where I talked about uh waking up and playing chess, you know, which is not a recommended, you know, like most coaches or whatever people, you know, who are always into improvement and stuff online will tell you don't stay away from your phone for at least a couple of hours when you wake up, even, you know, an hour, maybe two. And uh, I like to get on my phone when I wake up and play chess. You know, 
I, I, I found something, you know, and it, it stimulates my mind better than a cold shower, I feel like. It's just me. Maybe it's just because it's summer. In the winter, I used the cold shower thing and uh, I woke up pretty well. And it was pretty scary. It's not, a, it's not as scary to play chess as, is, as it is to uh, take a cold shower in the winter. Anyway, thank you for watching, good people. Uh, please join me tomorrow and uh, I'll, I'll post another video. Otherwise, like, subscribe, comment if you feel so obliged to. And uh, adios, adios. Anything else? I don't have anything else to say. I don't have anything. I actually have a lot of things to say, but I want to keep these videos short so you can watch them while, you know, doing laundry, folding laundry, doing dishes, listening to it in your car. I don't know. I don't know when you listen to a video content. I don't want to tell you when to do it. Otherwise, adios, good people. Be blessed.